In gas liquid chromatography, the mobile phase is an inert carrier gas, often something like helium or argon, that won't react to the samples being studied. And the stationary phase is a thick liquid coated on small beads. The carrier gas is put under pressure to make sure it is forced through a column and an oven is used to ensure all substances in the sample remain as vapour. Just like with thin layer chromatography and column chromatography, a mixture can be separated and molecules in the mixture analysed based on the length of time they spent in the mobile phase compared to the stationary phase. Samples with a low affinity for the stationary phase will stay mostly in the mobile phase and move through the column quickly. Samples with a high affinity for the stationary phase will take longer to move through the column as they will spend less time in the mobile phase compared to the stationary phase. A signal is produced by a detector each time a compound comes out of the column and the time is recorded for when the signal was detected. All signals produced by a sample are printed onto a graph called a chromatogram. The sizes of the peaks also give information about the relative amounts of each substance in the mixture. A peak twice the size of another peak means the sample contained twice as much of that substance compared to the other. The process is very precise and can be used to analyse very small quantities. It is, however, complicated to set up and all samples must be injected into the mobile phase the inert carrier gas, as a vapour before they enter the column. As we mentioned, the inert gas is under pressure, forcing it through the column. To ensure the sample stays vaporised, the column is coiled inside an oven to keep the sample boiling. This ensures it's the affinity for each phase, and not simply the physical state of the substances, that determine how long it will take them to move through the column. By changing the length of the column, the density of solid in the column, and the pressure of the carrier gas, the retention time of a sample can be altered. Sometimes a mass spectrometer is connected to the output of a gas-liquid chromatography setup, and this means each substance in a mixture can be sent through the mass spectrometer to find out their relative molecular mass. This is referred to as gas chromatography mass spectrometry, or GCMS.